I greet you. Welcome to another one, my dear family. So in this following video, we you know we're going to be touching a topic that, you know, a lot of preachers, a lot of people shy away from, and it has to do with, you know, how to keep your home. Um, it has to do with those who are married, you know, obviously not some of us who are not married. <laughs> so yes, so let's get into it. And one thing I love about this teaching, it actually opens your eyes on how to touch the heart of God and at the same time we also get to learn on how to keep a home. So let's get into this like, share, comment and subscribe. Tell us what you think in the comments below. God bless you. For other videos you may want us to share, share your video suggestions on our telegram. 1 Peter 3 verse number 6. I want us to just look up, don't do nothing. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. The word Lord means master honor. Your husband is not your friend. He's your owner. No, no, no. You did not hear me. You are owned by your husband. You don't want to be owned. Don't get married. Let me tell you something. I know preachers will not tell you this. You think, because the church will be empty if they, they tell you the truth. You are not an equal to your husband. No, you are not even a friend or a partner. No, you are owned. I will stay here for a few minutes. I'm not going anywhere. And men, don't clap too much because we are going somewhere. What were you thinking? What do you think husband means? You think it's Anna? Some of you women think you are, you are married to your big sister. <laughs> this is why I said to you men, don't accept when your wife calls you babe. No, never. The, her her ex-boyfriend was also babe. <laughs> my darling, my love. What were you calling your ex? I don't know what you are thinking. Maybe when I'm kissing you, you are thinking of your... Then you go, babe, 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 and your, your eyes are closed. Imagine someone from, from Tawa Tawa, from Chirezi, from Chabalala, and I'm here. No, we are not doing that. We're not doing that nonsense. Call me the way God called me. He said, I am your. Stay. <laughs> I know you don't get this, but anyway, you'll get it. Even, no, no, let's go to five because it might say maybe mm -hmm. for after this manner in all time, the holy women also. Are you a holy woman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to do what is being said, you are an unholy woman. You choose. Who trusted in God, adorned themselves. Being in subjection means being subjects of their husbands. This is why I tell my daughters, don't just run around. I want to get married. This is the prayer request. If I move right now, even after preaching this, I say, what is your prayer request? I need a marriage. I need a man. Listen to me. Hear this from me. A married man, happily married, but hear this from me. Marriage is overrated. You don't need it. Uh, see. Look at them here. Let me go here. Listen to me. You do not need it. Now let me preach to those who need it and want it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You see, if you read the, the context of what Paul is trying to say, he's trying to say marriage is only valid if it is because of ministry. If I'm marrying because there is something we are going to do together for God, but just, just for procreating and, and loving each other and lovey-dovey and going on holidays? No. And hear me well again. Love is not a feeling. If it's a feeling, you'll be left on the altar. Love is a decision. I've got a cousin sister who waited for, 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 for the husband at the altar, like for hour. Just Say, where's the man? He is drunk. Was one of the army generals here. One ma majors here. 
was drunk. The guy was drunk. And he arrived. And guess what? <laughs> For some reason, my sister trusted this guy. and said, look, you deal with the cake and the, and the rings. The man did not deal with no cake. Eh? He arrived. And I said, people are trying to figure out where the cake is. He kept on saying it's a surprise. It was a surprise, okay? They had to go to OK or some other shop to find a birthday cake. <laughs> the, guy, the guy had just been pushed into this, into this wedding thing. He's okay. Marriage is okay. The guy was like, but I want the white wedding. I just want the white. He said, I'll give you one, okay? <laughs> then the rings they got, you know, from his muncheke, they got the rings, you know, the rings from the streets. The guy had said it's a surprise. We were surprised. <laughs> Did he love the woman? Yes. But to men, love is a decision. It's not a feeling. I tell you now, and don't be afraid. You're in church. The Bible speaks. Men can sleep with anything that walks. Trust me. Your face will come into consideration after. You see, I know you didn't want the truth. Now you are acting, you are acting holier now, holier. <laughs> because we are not emotionally there. You know, I do marriage seminars. All right, I do marriage seminars. So in those marriage seminars, I know exactly what men are like, women are like. One lady said, "Dad, I have a problem." So we do what is called, "Why did I get married?" Where we go out, remember why did I get married? Where we go out there, the last time I think we were at Chengeta, we did three days there with couples. I don't know whether 70 couples were there and all that. And we'll just be sitting there and airing these things and talking real. We'll go deep into it, including intimacy, sex, everything. We'll be discussing everything. The woman just said, Papa, I have a problem. I said, well, what's, what's happening? He said, he just goes upstairs to sleep in the middle of a movie that he says we're watching. Then he just says, Baby, have you seen my socks? It's not socks he's looking for. Anyway, you heard this. No, no, he's not looking for socks. He says every time he says socks, I know what it is. Socks. <laughs> Where is the romance? Hug me or something. Just do something. You can't even say I love you. You are my lover. You are. You can't. Socks. Nah. Be emotionally included in this thing, man. This is what some of you do. You commit rap case on God. God needs romance. Praise him. Tell him how you love him. Sing for him. As you get into those dimensions, you realize you get into a certain location where all of a sudden tears come out. You can't explain why you are really crying. But then you begin to understand who God is. But as men, you need to get to a point where you, 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 you learn how to do it. This is what the Bible says, husbands, learn to love your wives. If we are going to learn, we can't. It's not automatic. It says learn to love your wives. It's written in the Bible. Husbands, learn to love. <laughs> Are you, are you flowing or you've gone home? Flowing. When it says that, what do you think it means? It means there is, a, there is a disconnect in us. We can't just automatically get there. We get to a problem where we see it from afar. And go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this thing. I want to do this thing. I want to. But it's all. It's all what? That's not even it. You see, that says love your wife. 
in the when the bible says the bible says in the witness of two or three people that's one of them two or three people let the truth be established when you have two are you getting this now that means there is a disconnect in us we have a problem spiritually of connecting with you let, let me go 126 Psalm 126 i want to show you Psalm 126 Mm. Notice here. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Mm. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. They say they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. And the Lord hath done great things for them. Whereof we are glad. They were the ones crying. But they are crying led to another dimension of seeing and realizing the power of God. Now, if you see this, let me give you this. If you see the scripture that you just read, husbands love your wives is an instruction it becomes a commandment why does it become your commandment if it comes naturally we are even told do it why are we being told do it because we will not do it on our own I was talking to him one time. He said, Major, my wife did 27 years or 19 years in your own house. Me, I did my own 21 in my own house. Now we join hands. What I think is making sense, she thinks is stupid. Because I'm 21 years of experience on this thing I think is clever, but to my wife it's stupid. 21 years. Then all of a sudden you meet one with 19 years experience, 21 years of experience, and you think what he thinks is stupid, you think what he thinks is stupid. Then you join hands. It won't work. Hear me. I want you to see something. Do you know my biggest prayer partner is my wife? No, 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 you, you're not getting me. Why? Because I know there are qualities in her that will get even her to touch the heart of God. So it's better for me and my wife to be prayerful together. Because if I don't go this side, and I want to show you that thing. I want to show you that thing. 1 Peter 3, 7. 1 Peter 3, 7. I want to show you quickly because of time. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them these women hmm? uh -uh, look up husbands now women if you fail to say amen i'm coming back for you <laughs> likewise <laughs> this is the amen of fear you know <laughs> that this thing might come back in the wrong direction likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge ah! oh, yeah. notice it says dwell with your wife with knowledge you need to study your wife to study how to treat your wife study it it, it has to be a degree yeah. hear me now giving honor unto the wife hey. <laughs> give honor to your wife as unto weaker vessel now remember this bible is not saying your wife is a weaker vessel Mm -hmm. let's go there if i give you my rolls royce to drive i will tell you treat it as unto a weaker vessel or glass doesn't mean that the car is weak no it's too precious handle with care that doesn't mean that it will break down no i just don't want scratches No, you, you're getting it now. 
It's not saying women are weak. Let me give you scientific proof that they are not weak. One contraction of a woman giving birth is enough to kill 10 average men. Science. One contraction. Imagine two. <laughs> we can't manage it. Be given one pregnancy for one day. Ah, I'm telling you. <laughs> you die before anything, before the scan comes to search for that child. So women are not weak. No. Okay. Do you think it is in God to create weak things? According to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, hmm, as unto weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Okay, okay, you did not hear me. I, you, 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 you men, you go and pray. God is like, I'm not hearing you. Look at your wife. Look at your wife is crying. I'm not, I'm not hearing nothing. The Bible is saying our own prayers as men can be hindered by the way we treat wives. Now you, you're still not getting. I don't care. You can go to a prayer mountain as long as your wife is not happy. That prayer mountain is just a you are, it's a straw in the park. You're just walking. There's nothing you're doing. You can be fasting for 20 days. If your wife is, is not happy, you are not hearing nothing. God is not attending to any prayer. That fasting is dieting. Why? Because women have a way of releasing emotions. <sighs> I know you're not hearing me, so I'll, I'll pretend you're not getting me. I don't know why men of God, my things are not working. Is your wife happy? Women are so easy eh? to make them happy. Women are the easiest creatures to make. Ah. They can be affected by words. Even when you don't mean the words. Ah. You're not, you're, you don't like me anymore, so. I came here trying to give you the real thing, but now I'm not doing it. To just send a message, I love you. They will smile. They'll be looking at it. Analyze if it says, I love you. If you, God forbid you put an exclamation mark. Ah! <laughs> they will start thinking, why did he put an exclamation mark? He never did it before. He has never done it. Ask your man if she receives I love you from the wife. <laughs> it's just a writing. Uh, trust me, these are men, can, they can tell you. I was with my friend way back when I used to do friends. Now this friend thing is just nonsense. Because your friends are going to be your enemies. And I'm, I'm, I'm in there and it's just right there and the wife just got angry. And I was with prophetess. And the wife got angry and they are shouting at each other, shouting at each other. He came to me and said, Prophet, what do I do now? What, what, what do I do? I said, look, what does your wife like? She's like, man, you have to help me. I said, maybe buy flowers. I said, no, the shops are closed. He said, don't worry. He came out. It's around 11 at night. 11, 12, midnight there. He ran to the, to the next roundabout. There were some flowers there. He just pulled. With soil there. The moment he did this to the wife, <laughs> the whole thing is done finished try it with men try it they get angry you go get flowers oh no for what they don't work why is it so they are emotionally charged they release a certain level of emotions that touch God. 
to the extent that those emotions still communicate when you go before God trying to ask for your own thing to be done. And God says, no, 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 no. There are other emotions affecting me. Do you know the Bible says, for my name, for I am a jealous God, and my name is also called jealous. Imagine God says he's called jealous. And you just think, it's going to work like that. No. There are emotions you need to put into consideration.